I think there are all kinds of creatures with intelligence in this universe that would shock us. Some of the most famous astrobiologists believe that within the relatively near future, we will either have found compelling evidence for extraterrestrial life, or we will have banished the possibility of extraterrestrial life to the ever-shrinking edges of the universe that are beyond the rapidly expanding reach of our observations. Such answers could be obtained by the end of the 2030s from any number of initiatives devoted to the search for alien life. By then, samples from Mars will have returned to Earth, possibly carrying definitive evidence that the red planet once harbored organisms or still does today. Spacecraft on Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Titan will search for signs of life in each world's subsurface ocean or, in the case of Titan, on the surface itself. Furthermore, powerful telescopes on the ground and in space should be exploring the atmospheres of possibly habitable exoplanets orbiting nearby stars, looking for any that share the same biology-infused cocktail of gases as our own alive Earth. But what about discovering proof of alien life on Earth? Did a researcher come across an alien spaceship? In today's video, we look at a fascinating story about a man who claims to have found an alien spaceship. The following astonishing account was published by a David Campbell on a site known as ViewZone. It was a report detailing an incredible find within Oklahoma, which David and his wife then pursued on location. Although the story received little media coverage, people thought the information and images of the event to be incredibly interesting, especially when they considered their earlier research on the peculiar ancient anomaly known as Waffle Rock. A probable fragment of a formerly larger object with possible alien origins that has stayed half buried, lying where it impacted the Earth all those years ago. Now covered beneath water as a result of a contentious reservoir project that swallowed the stone and the settlement that grew around it. On the blog, David described the incident with his wife. They had just returned from a weekly 600 mile distribution trip to find an urgent message from a reader in Corbett, Oklahoma. He informed them about meeting a man while out seeking for antique arrowheads in the Kiamishi Mountains when they returned his call. The caller supplied some pretty unclear directions to the location, no names and no callback information. They were intrigued by the narrative and reasoned that the worst that could happen was that they would spend a pleasant Sunday in the mountains. After arriving at the ambiguous site and investigating the woods for several hours, they stumbled upon an exceedingly strange-looking, possibly cyclopean wall. Their initial examinations perplexed them because they had never seen old stone built in this manner. They assumed it was man-made because of the small visible stones firmly interlocking that made up its structure. It's possible that they didn't fully comprehend the magnitude of their find until after they ascended to the top of the structure. The stones seem to be a highly intricate arrangement of interlocking various mineral or metallic compounds, typically with a honeycomb structure from the other side. The layers of which are the result of exceedingly precise layers layered together to form interlocking blocks of iron similar to stone. What I saw there began to seep into my brain like ice water, he said on the site. Jumbled about haphazardly were acres of squared, dressed and notched stones, it felt eerie standing atop those ruined ramparts with all those strewn stones like a desecrated cemetery. Were these bizarre fragments ever part of a single massive object? They clearly resemble Waffle Rock, which is located in West Virginia. Are these two strange artifacts linked? Were they ever a part of an ancient semi-fossilized alien craft? What David uncovered could be yet another piece of the puzzle that is the Waffle Rock mystery. In many instances, peculiar rocks composed of unusual metals are thought to be the result of furnace activity. Nonetheless, we hope that more research be conducted into this clearly massive and intriguing location. How did this unusual object end up smashed into fragments in the middle of the Oklahoma forest? The ancient Baltic Sea anomaly is another odd artifact formed from a similar anomalous mineral metallic-like material. Are these weird relics both old spaceships? More information about David and Sue's strange discovery is certainly required. But what exactly is the mystery around Waffle Rock? Just outside the visitor center of Jennings Randolph Lake in Mineral County in the US state of West Virginia is a large piece of rock on display. A consistent waffle-like geometry pattern of elevated darker stone runs in almost perfect straight lines over the surface of the rock on one side. 
the lines intersect at different angles, generating deep pockets of lighter coloured material. The unusual patterning on the so-called waffle rock is caused by natural erosion, but numerous alternate hypotheses about its origins have arisen over the years, and these include the usual suspects, aliens, enormous reptiles and ancient Indian societies. The US Corps of Engineers provides some information about the formation of the rock. The sandstone layer that makes up the rock were initially deposited some 300 to 250 million years ago. Then around 200 million years ago, as the continent began to split up due to tectonic plate shifts, the sandstone block was folded onto itself repeatedly, causing fissures in the sandstone. After roughly 100 million years, the fractures began to fill with iron oxide, which was leached from the surrounding rock by the percolating water. When the iron oxide interacted with the sand grains in the fractures, it formed an extremely hard substance that was more resistant to weathering than the surrounding sandstone fragments. The strong iron oxide waffle-like pattern on the rock was left behind as the sandstone rock eroded. The boulder at Jennings Randolph Lake is a small chunk of this rock that is thought to have broken off from the parent outcrop higher up the slope. A smaller chunk of the same rock is on display at Washington DC's Smithsonian Institute of Natural History. Although the Waffle Rock formation is unusual, similar pattern boulders have been discovered near Monongahela, Pennsylvania and Tea Creek Mountain in the Pocahontas County, West Virginia. Many other undocumented examples of similar stone patterning can be found all throughout the world. It's fascinating to speculate on whether or not aliens have visited Earth. After all, we are on the verge of stretching our reach into space with destinations such as Mars in our sights. However, there is no hard evidence that aliens have ever visited this planet. Invoking a supernatural explanation for some of humanity's most gigantic achievements means ignoring the interesting ways in which prehistoric civilizations managed to build some of the world's largest and most perplexing structures. Here are several structures that many people believe were built by extraterrestrials. Sacsayhuaman Outside the historic Inca capital of Cusco in the Peruvian Andes stands the fortress of Sacsayhuaman. Some believe Sacsayhuaman was built by an ancient civilization with a little help from interstellar buddies, as it is made of massive stones that have been chipped and put together like a jigsaw puzzle. The thousand-year-old interlocking fortress walls are built of rocks weighing up to 360 tons each and were transported more than 20 miles before being hoisted and fitted into position with laser-like accuracy. It's a nice little challenge to figure out how an ancient civilization accomplished such a feat of engineering. Turns out the Inca were just as good at building dwellings and fortified complexes as they were at observing the sky and maintaining calendars. In truth, Sacsayhuaman isn't the only example of this meticulous masonry. Similar walls can be seen all across the Inca Empire, including one in Cusco that has a 12-angled stone neatly wedged into position. Archaeologists have recently discovered remains of the Inca's rope and lever system for transporting stones from quarries to cities, a technique that relied on strength and inventiveness rather than alien architects. Teotihuacan Teotihuacan, which translates as City of the Gods, is a large ancient city in Mexico, most known for its pyramidal temples and astronomical alignments. Teotihuacan, which was built over 2,000 years ago, appears otherworldly due to its antiquity, grandeur and complexity, but it is very much the work of humanity. Scientists believe that the city, which could house more than 100,000 people, was built over ages by a mix of cultures including Maya, Zapotec and Mixtec. Teotihuacan, with its mules, tools, transportation system and indications of superior agricultural methods, is often regarded as far more technologically advanced than could have been conceivable in pre-Aztec Mexico. The huge Pyramid of the Sun is by far the most well-known of Teotihuacan structures. The pyramid is one of the largest such structures in the Western Hemisphere and its unusual alignment is thought to be based on calendrical cycles. Easter Island the mysteries surrounding the Moai, Easter Island's fleet of giant stone statues, are similar to those surrounding the other locations covered here. How in the world did the Rapa Nui make these figures more than 1,000 years ago? And how did the Moai end there on Easter Island in the first place? The almost 900 stone-carved human figures are scattered over the flanks of the island's extinct volcanoes. The sculptures, which stand 13 feet tall and weigh 14 tons, 
appear to have been sculpted from the Rano Raraku quarry's soft volcanic tuff. There, more than 400 statues are still in various states of construction, with some completed figures awaiting transportation to their intended resting place. The motives for carving the Moai are unknown, however they were most likely carved for religious or ritual purposes. It's still unclear what happened to the stone crafting Rapa Nui, although one popular hypothesis holds that their society was destroyed by an environmental disaster of their own design, something that could have been avoided had ancient aliens conferred their infinite wisdom on the community. Stonehenge A massive circle of stones, some weighing up to 50 tonnes, can be seen in the English countryside near Salisbury. The Neolithic structure known as Stonehenge inspired Swiss author Eric von Daniken to speculate that it was a representation of the solar system that also served as an alien landing pad. After all, how else could those gigantic stones have ended up hundreds of miles from their quarry? Nobody knows what Stonehenge means, but unlike the other locations, the explanation is not aliens. Instead, scientists have proved that it is conceivable to construct such a structure using methods that existed roughly 5,000 years ago, when the site's earliest structures were constructed. Now, the stones appear to be aligned with solstices and eclipses, implying that the Stonehenge builders were at least keeping an eye on the heavens, even if they didn't come from above. Let us know what you think about these mysteries in the comments section below.